Good morning to all you precious people, the faithful audio listeners to our daily encouragements, as well as to those who dial into our social media platforms and watch us on, on, on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it may be. Well, we are seven months into a period which this world has not seen in recent times, certainly in modern times, unprecedented. Uh, through the advent, with the advent of COVID-19, coronavirus, the world entered into lockdowns pretty much all over the world of various uh, forms and measures as nations implemented, um, you know, controls to try and restrict the spread of the virus, as we all are well aware. With this, many entered very difficult times, emotionally, spiritually, physically. I know people who sat up in the middle of the night, three o'clock in the night, employers worried about their employees, how they're going to pay them. Many employers sitting without uh, salaries for uh, a whole month, uh, certainly uh, the whole of April, not being able to get any money coming in. Some have even been retrenched. Some have not received due, their due uh, what is due to them payment-wise, their salaries, and some salaries have been cut. Yeah, there's been much, much harsh, much pressure that people have come under in these times. And certainly, as this all happened, as a leadership team, we decided, how can we encourage people? Because, you know, that's what God's done for us. He's left heaven, left it left heaven and come to this earth in the form of a man. Jesus Christ took upon the nature of a man and uh, then lived with us and demonstrated the kingdom of God on this earth with us and for us and for our benefit. And then he ends up dying on the cross for us and rising to the right hand of the Father, sending his Holy Spirit, the comforter, the helper, helps us by the Holy Spirit to live as he would have us live. Man, everything about God just shouts help, as in he came to help. And so we sought to you know, just put our heads together. How can we help people? And this would be God's heart for every one of you listening to this. That if you're a child of God, he has called you not just to be a receiver of his grace, but to be a giver and a conduit of his grace. Hebrews chapter uh, 3 verses 12 says, Take care, brothers, lest there be in any of you an unbelievable, unbelieving heart leading you to fall away from the living God. Um, so the reality is we can fall away from God and make sure that you don't. And he says, but... So, you know, one of the antidotes, one of the cures to falling away and, and to an evil and unbelieving heart is to exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today. That's what we instruct in Hebrews 3.13, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. So what we sought to do with the institution, even of these daily encouragements, which come by way of three messages in the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even salvation stories, was purely because of the separation due to our quarantines, the desire as well to encourage you and uh, to, to fill a gap, to fill a space in which there was a huge void of not being able to see each other and meet with each other and be exposed um, to, and also feeling like there's an increased need for, for us to just be exposed to good, solid encouragement in the week as opposed to just sort of flicking through the social media platforms and, and uh, giving ourselves mindlessly to whatever the talking heads would say. So we've we try to fill that gap and fill that space. And we do believe we've done that faithfully up till now. Having said that, times are changing. And I do want to say, uh, you know, fortunately, we're all able to see each other again, we're able to meet again. And this is just wonderful. And uh, we are aware uh, that that... The need for these times. I would want to say this. I don't believe the need for encouragement will ever die. I think there will always be a need for encouragement till the day we die, till our last breath. I will need encouragement. I will need to encourage, man. So the need for this is not dying at all. But we are sensing that the the platform and, and this particular rhythm that we're in, uh, it's coming to an end. So today, believe it or not, this is our last daily encouragement to you via this this audio platform as well as uh, the, the this lo this week on Thursday Friday we will have our, our last salvation stories um, as well that we'll be putting online and we do encourage you that if you are not part of a church that you become part of a church become part of a body if you've been linked in uh, you know via these times and been benefiting greatly from them and you just don't know how you're going to survive, you know, and you, you're out there and somehow linked to us and not to a church and you're wanting to get all of us, please 
by all means, get on of admin at Oxygen Life Church. We'd love to make contact with you and find out how we can still encourage you because our heart would be to encourage you and our heart would be to either link you in somewhere else or for you to remain linked in. And we'd love to show you how to do that and chat to you through that. But friends, uh, this is the end of a season, man. We, we always believed that it was going to be a season and um, that it would not necessarily be forever. And so, um, yeah, I just want to encourage you, though, that I know for some of you, we do have those people who've absolutely been totally dependent upon these times, and that's fantastic, you know. Um, God has got something for you. He He would love to um, cause you to be an encourager, cause you to think and dream and scheme about how you can encourage others. And again, if you do not feel like you're in that place, we'd hate for you to be left in the lurch, as it were, and to feel like we've dropped you. So please get a hold of us. Tell us your thoughts. Tell us, uh, you know, what you are needing right now and, and we'd love to make contact with you and and make sure that you do not uh, get in as in a, as it were left in it to plug you in to properly um, ensure that you can continue on your growth track and spiritual progress in the Lord so friend uh, it's been my honor to take a few of these times and even to lead this the last session let's remember Hebrews chapter 3 let us consider how to uh, let us continue daily to encourage each other and um, we do appreciate so much the encouragement some of you have given us uh, regarding how these times have impacted your life so we'd love to hear maybe from you even for a last time follow us on our different social media platforms and in the future we'll also be releasing some exciting things we've got an app that's busy being developed that will be more direct you know it will be um, not yeah, it'll be accessible to all of you and something that will also contain different teachings and uh, equipping streams on it to actually help you in your in your relationship with God. So bless you, friends. Look out this week, Thursday, Friday, for our last Salvation Stories coming onto this platform. And as we shut everything down, we know we never shut down the life of God who that is pouring out from heaven towards you each and every day. And um, we know we have a high priest, Jesus Christ, who is ensuring that we're going to get to be face-to-face with the Father as we walk hand-in-hand with Him. So bless you, friends, and uh, signing out from me and the rest of the Oxygen team.